Well, hello folks. Welcome to another episode of Whiskey Calling here. Uh, Friday afternoon. I uh, thought, hey, what a great time to sort of uh, try something new I've never really tried before. Uh, and that is Yellowstone Bourbon. Give you guys a good look here at this bottle. Um, yeah, so anyways, um, it's 54%. Um, American Single Malt Whiskey. Um, Yellowstone since 1872. So actually, you know, I thought it was a bourbon, but it, it just calls it a single malt whiskey. So um, it says the, uh, the Limestone Branch Distillery Company in Lebanon, Kentucky. So yeah, let, let's, let's have a read here and see what this talks about here. Um, like any member of our family, Yellowstone American Single Malt Whiskey stems from previously established roots. Nearly everything we've perfected across seven generations of distilling presents itself in this bottle. Made from 100% malted barley and perfectly aged in new charred American oak barrels, this smooth yet complex whiskey rounds the palate with notes of honey, dates, and spice pear with a strong oak and cinnamon finish. Much like the park for which it's named, this whiskey is a uniquely American icon, one worth of revisiting. Yeah, distilled in age in Indiana and bottled by Limestone Branch Distillery, Lebanon, Kentucky. And it does say, you know, on here it says yellowstonebourbon.com is sort of where the website is. So I assume it's a bourbon then, but it just, you know, it's funny how they don't quite say bourbon on the front uh, label here that I can see. Either way, um, I'm looking forward to trying this for sure. 108 proof, like I said, 54% alcohol. Hope you guys got something uh, poured yourselves, a bourbon or something bourbon-esque. And uh, yeah, or if you've got this, let me know what your thoughts are on on, on this sucker. Okay, let's see if we can get a good cork pop here on a nice Friday afternoon. Why not, eh? Here we go. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Right, folks let's uh, let's dive into this one so as you can see pretty nice color here kind of a gold kind of a dark gold I would say nice looking color let's let's see what the nose uh, tells us here hmm yeah definitely getting a honeycomb pear <laughs> Sometimes I don't like reading the uh, taste notes right before I try it because sometimes it gets in your head. But that's probably what you're smelling and tasting. So, um, but yeah, I'm definitely getting honey and pear off the off the hop here. I'm also getting something else. What is that? Hmm. Sort of a sort of a grippiness on the nose. Uh, kind of a grippy. What is that? You know, maybe a little bit of a vanilla. Very, you know, I gotta say, a nice, nice aroma to this one. Uh, it's quite pleasant. Maybe an ever so slight waxiness on the nose, which I really like that, uh, when a whiskey has a bit of a wax, waxy um, smell and taste. All right, folks, cheers. Let's uh, see what this one tastes like. Mm. Hmm. At 54%, this gets added. It's fairly spicy. Um, so you're getting, the, yeah, getting kind of the alcohol heat and, and some, some good spice there. 
Um, yeah, that's really nice. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, kind of a third into to two thirds of the sip, the spice really kicks in, a nice long spicy finish going on. I'm still feeling it dancing around my top of my tongue in a really nice way. Um, yeah, I definitely get some of the pear they're talking about, which a lot of times that's not my favorite uh, taste, uh, tasting note in whiskeys. But I like the way this is kind of layered in there. It's kind of got a nice, because uh, there's enough sweetness there too. Almost like a honey glazed pear. Honey glazed pear with, you know, um, black spicy pepper kind of layered on top. It's almost got a little bit of a uh, hot pepper spice to it almost too. And again, on the nose, there's sort of a grippy part of the aroma that I, I, I'm having a hard time coming up with what exactly that is, but it's really quite pleasant. Let's try one more sip, folks. Mm. Yeah, um, I'm almost getting a bit of a charred toast, um, you know, like kind of a, um, yeah, you know, you kind of, kind of that toast crumb, um, maybe a touch of cinnamon, I think they mentioned that. Um, you know, you know, a lot of breakfast flavors in this, you know, like kind of a toasted honey, uh, um, you know, actual piece of toast with uh, maybe some cinnamon spread on it with maybe some, uh, you know, almost like a kind of a glazed, you know, sugar glazed pear or something, you know, sliced up or something. You know, all kind of, you know, uh, I'm picturing a lot of breakfast flavors and aromas here. Hmm. As this opens up a little bit here, um, into the third sip, definitely getting a bit more of an oakiness now. The wood, yeah, the woodsy and oakiness is coming through in a really nice way as well here. Now this is a fun dra dram here. It's uh, interesting, it's got a lot going on. You're kind of discovering it as you go. Each sip is kind of revealing something else, which is really, really quite delightful. You know, some whiskeys are, are a little bit more you know, boring or the journey isn't quite as eventful. It's always great when it's an eventful journey like this and you're kind of getting surprised. Yeah, you know, it's almost got maybe a bit of a plum to uh, I'm, I'm picking up. Um, really nice long finish uh, for this one. It, it kind of goes on and on and on. Um, again, 54%, so it, it's some pretty serious business. Um, you're you're going to definitely get a bit of... Uh, you know, uh, lingering finish, uh, but it's it's a nice, flavorful lingering finish. You know, and now I'm gonna what I'm gonna try to do is just put a little bit of water on here, just bring that ABV down just a touch, just a touch here, and see where the, what that does to these flavors here. Of course, it's a nice thing about buying a bottle with, uh, with 108 proof like this. You can always bring it down a bit and experiment. Not sure what that would have brought it down to, but let's guess 47, 48%, maybe, maybe 45 or 40. Whoa. On the nose, definitely getting a little bit more of a fruity, almost a bit of a citrus. Citrus pear. Maybe a bit of vanilla coming out too. So 
Gottes sehen zu dürfen. Hm. Hmm. Hmm. That was strange. Adding that water almost seemed to give it a bit of a thicker texture, almost, which is, doesn't make sense. But it kind of seems to sort of give it a nice, uh, yeah, almost viscosity has, has gotten a little bit more, uh, less thin almost. Not that it was thin before, but. You know, really a, a nice, uh, <laughs> you know, very nice adding water. You know, that's the bottom line. It's, uh, um, it kind of is bringing out uh, some of the pear. Um, it's maybe touch less sweet uh, with the water on. But it's kind of, I think, brought out some vanilla um, is what I'm getting here. Uh, especially as I put some more water on. Okay, for fun, I want to look back at all these tasty notes. What did they say? Uh, I kind of remember some of them, but maybe not all of them. And see if we're, we're getting some of those. Um, so, yeah, ra you know, it says complex whiskey rounds the palate with notes of honey, dates. Hmm. Dates, interesting. And spiced pear, yeah, with a strong oak and cinnamon finish. Okay, interesting. So they don't mention vanilla in here. Um, but I guess oaky cinnamon might be something that gets you a little close to vanilla in a way. And this, yeah, spice pear. So yeah, very, uh, very interesting. Dates. Let's see if we can get some dates here. Hmm. Almost maybe start to imagine, you know, like it may be an apple tart, a raisin tart. You know, kind of close to the, that dates kind of uh, neighborhood. Yeah, definitely a lot of uh, breakfast and pastries. If, if you're imagining having brunch, you got some, you know, wide variety of breakfast and pastries laid, up, laid about, so to speak. Um, that's kind of what you're getting, which is sort of interesting. Um And, you know, I guess that kind of works because it's, uh, well, it's 3.45 p.m. here. Uh, so it's a little bit earlier in the day. So, you know, you're not that far from a brunch, let's say. And so, you, so you're picking picking all that up. It'd be interesting to have this later in the evening. Uh, you know, this might be kind of a nice uh, after dinner, a little, little bit a little bit of a dessert feel with, with some of the, the pear and the sweetness as well. Um, you know, um, almost like, a, yeah, almost like a sweet breakfast or a dessert is sort of what we're getting here. You know, it doesn't have a lot of, you know, I have no idea what the mash bill is on here. It's, it says bourbon, um, at least on the website here. I haven't done any research on this. I'm I like to do less research. So I just sort of, sort of, in, you know, really are kind of blown away by the taste. And I'm not too, too many preconceptions. So I'm not absolutely sure if this is a bourbon or not. Um, but um, it must, you know, I'm assuming it probably isn't. They don't really say bourbon right on the label of this particular variety. So, and the reason I'm sort of bringing this up is a lot of bourbons, you know, have to be at least 51% corn based. And that tends to make them somewhat sweeter. This definitely has some honey, um, but a lot of bourbons um, have, you know, I'd like to say sort of a brown sugar cinnamon bun type sweetness to them, which I really like bourbons like that. This doesn't have that to me. Um, it's, um, it's, it's like, yeah, more of a honey pear, honey fruit. Uh, yeah, you throw in a little bit of cinnamon, you know, like I said, there is some oakiness in here for sure, which is really nice as well. Yeah, this is very interesting, folks. Um, give it a try. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's been enjoyable. Um, yeah. And you know, you know, good solid percentage on it and everything else. Anyways, I'm kind of rambling here a little bit. Still a little bit undecided what I think of this. You know, I, I, I want to kind of settle into this bottle a little bit and uh, and sort of see what uh, see what I think as time goes on. But yeah, definitely 
uh, not boring in any way. Uh, sometimes uh, whiskeys for me that have, you know, a little bit too much of that pear, um, it's not always my favorite favorite. So that that's maybe uh, going at me a little bit here, um, but uh, but everything else around it is really good. And and if you do like pear, it's a really nice flavor of pear. There's nothing about it that's, you know. This feels to me feels relatively high quality, uh, you know, uh, you know, high quality product. It's uh, it's quite nice actually. Um, sometimes it's personal preference though. So so uh, so yeah, that, that pear flavor is not my favorite. Anyways, I'm really rambling, folks. I apologize. Anyways, have a great weekend. Have a great Friday. Let me know what you think if you've tried this, um, and we'll see you again soon, everybody.